Practice safety first today, because it might be too late tomorrow. This quote comes from the beginning of 20th century, when aviation was more like a job for the stuntmen. Even the first aviators knew that flying is sometimes completely different than driving a car. Since decades we learned that aviation is a very exclusive way of living and it needs professionals in every step of development. That's why our industry was always a pioneer in engineering, technology and safety, that's for sure. So when the manufacturers develop, for example, a tire, it's an aviation tire. And when they design an engine, it's an aviation engine. It should be the same way and the same rule every step along the way. But it is not. The progressive process of simplification spread out in a huge part of general aviation market. And it touches the most delicate and key factor, the aviation fuel. Growing popularity of small, four-stroke engines in ultralight aviation became more and more popular in certified aviation. Many pilots, flight training organizations and aircraft owners decided to break the crucial rule and start to put MOGAS in aviation engines. It is not against the law, even more, it's legal. But you should ask yourself one question, is it really safe? According to latest research, we have a bad news for MOGAS users in the aviation market. Sad, but true. Get ready. 1. Motor gasoline was never designed for general aviation. Production of MOGAS is certified for cars. No one cares how this fuel behaves in high altitude, low pressure conditions, or how it performs in dramatic changes of temperature, and so on. 2. Alcohol used in MOGAS dissolves rubber and composite materials of the engine, blocking fuel feed. 3. Because of the increased volatility of MOGAS, a vapor log is much likely to happen. 4. MOGAS absorbs much more heat during the air-fuel mixture process and because of that, it can be subject to greater cooling during the vaporization. 5. Many of the problems of MOGAS is the fact that the fuel cannot be truly checked for cross-contamination and general contamination. You may say, Okay, that's interesting, but does any organization can confirm these facts? You bet. This is the Special Airworthiness Information Bulletin CE0706 from October 2006, provided by Federal Aviation Administration. This document clearly states that automobile gasoline containing alcohol is not allowed to be used in an aircraft. Also, European EASA Administration released multiple safety buildings covering the dangers of use of MOGAS in aviation. EASA tested MOGAS in all flight and weather conditions Concluding, similar to FAA, MOGAS is unsafe and shall not be used in general aviation. Even our competitors on the market admit, you shouldn't use MOGAS in aircraft. This is a note from BP website. Please take note into account the dangers of using this product before flying. Do you still need more evidence? Here you go. Civil Aviation Authority states that, with the exception of microlights, the use of MOGAS containing alcohol is generally prohibited in aircraft. They don't even use the word inadvisable or not recommended. They say prohibited. Also, the French Civil Aviation Authority claims that using MOGAS in aviation involves some dangers. During a huge research process, they find 5% of ethanol or 15% of ETBE in SP95 and SP98. This ethanol is highly advisable not to use and can create a vapor lock. So, MOGAS is a disaster idea in aviation, there is no doubt about that. Now the main question is, what to use instead? We've got the answer. As a leading aviation gasoline producer, Water Aviation designed Avgas UL91. It was designed with the general aviation market safety in mind. Essentially, it is a fuel very like Avgas Hunger Delel without the addition of tetrahedral lead. It results in a reduced antinog rating which is similar to the one found in Mogus, only without the many risks associated with the use of motor gasoline in the engines. Why UL91 is good to you and your aircraft? 1. It is designed for aviation and aviation only. 2. It is safer both to the pilot and the environment. 3. It is pure, 
all components are truly checked and examined pre, during, and post production. Four, it is widely approved by the engine manufacturers, such as Rotax, Lycoming, and many, many more. This is an IO360 M1A. You know, this engine uh, is not a high octane demand engine. It actually is a fairly low octane demand. So in terms of recommended running on it, if I was to, if I was a consumer of the engine and I had three fuels available, I'd really choose the UL91 grade. Uh, it's unleaded, it'll form less deposits inside the engine, it'll be overall lower maintenance, and the UL91 is an aviation grade uh, fuel for the engine, so it's very predictable in terms of that sense. So what you should do today is to stop refueling MoGas, order UL91 and start to be a safer pilot. Do it today, tomorrow might be a bit too late.